Okay, so down, down the left, we've got, got the project I'm working in, and here's, here's where I can create a new item. So in this case, I'm, I can create a new work item or, or a new query. And then, and then they're aligned by the different areas that, that, we're, uh, that we're used to here. So you can, uh, you can go, go within, but navigate between the hubs within an area that you're in, or hover and get to a hub kind of across, across the service that way, deep, deeper into uh, another area of the service. This is uh, expand and collapsible. So one of the goals here is, is to enable the navigation to uh, really get out of the way and allow you to focus and provide high den you know, support high density of, of information. And I can even come in here, and one of the big benefits that we've been, been talking about here is with this is you can, you can actually uh, control which services are, are available within, within your project. So in this case, if, I, if my project is really just all about managing work, I can flip, I can flip off test, build and release, and so on. I'll get, I'll get a prompt to, to tell me a little about what, what the implication of that is, but this allows you, again, to just uh, focus more, allow the navigation and kind of the rest of the project that, you're not, that you may not be using to, to get out of the way. Let me go and refresh that. So that's the new navigation. So I encourage you to, to check it out. We're, we're uh, really eager to get your feedback in these early stages. Um, and we want to keep making improvements along with you. Like I said, we're making improvements to both navigation itself, but also content pages along the way. So um, looking forward to your help there. So then I'll go back to work. And this is where we're talking about the, the new work hubs. I'll expand this back up. So we got the work item hubs that was Work, work items hub that was available in preview for a while uh, and became generally available. This is where you can see just a quick view of everything I've got on a couple common pivots, like what am I following, uh, where am I mentioned, lots of filters. But then uh, one of the things that we've, we've heard a lot is there's been some usability issues with what we had before. And we had one hub, which was the backlogs hub, but it, it, although it was pretty powerful, uh, gosh, it had, a, it had a lot of features in it, which made it kind of difficult to get to the specific thing I wanted to uh, work on at a, on a particular time. So, um, you know, for, for me, as an example, I've, I've managed work with, with various teams, and um, I f often find myself in different kind of mindsets at different points in, in a given week. So. You know, on one day in the morning, I might be thinking about what the priority is and hey, what's coming up next and where should I stack rank these things and uh, doing that kind of activity and maybe parenting work items together and grouping them together, uh, planning them over, over a series of iterations, doing that kind of thing. But then a, di a different day of the week or later that day, I'm going to switch and I'm going to be thinking about flow. How's my, how's my uh, what work items are brand new versus which ones are kind of on deck? Uh, which ones are getting ready to close? How can we get those get those closed? Um, and then, and then, of course, day to day or in a stand up or something, the team, uh, you know, we're thinking about uh, tasks and uh, just moving those tasks and uh, day to day. So we're we're on a kind of a task board. So um, now those hubs are uh, separate and more aligned with these kind of the different mindset that I'm kind of talking about that you might find yourself in. So if I'm managing flow, I'm in boards, right, left to right. Going uh, new to active resolved. Let's say in this case, I've got a user story here, and then and then I might switch later uh, to think about uh, ordering my work items. So that's that's all about backlogs. In this case, you can you can see these common controls kind of across these different boards about which type of work item in it, what backlog type or what type of work item in I, am I using? Be able to create new. Of course, we got these filtering controls that we're used to, and then the the, the picker, right? So I can I can favorite things. I can switch between. Pretty easily and, and consistency consistently across these hubs. So then over in sprints, of course, we've got the the more detailed. Uh, I'm talking about stories and tasks. So that gives you that uh, zoom in look where I can manage that, and also where you you plan capacity and and you can manage your sprints. So in this case, we've got you know, defined sprints. You can create a sprint. So a lot to do here if you're if you're really into managing your your sprint cadence and the details of, of that. So then also in this release, we've got the, the queries hub that's, that's become generally available. So this is, again, you'll notice as I've gone through these hubs, we get a consistent experience where I can favorite and, and do all that. So continue to check all these out and see, see how this works for you 
and kind of this this next this next set of, of experiences. And one other thing, just to just to uh, call out here is is we still have this team concept. And it's it is strong. So uh, here's one evidence of that where I've got uh, ability to you know quickly come out and see uh, what. What's the board and backlog and sprint of the of the team? Who are the members? And I can I can kind of quickly get an all up view of of everything that where where I can go to see information about the team. So um, that's still a concept uh, throughout all of these. 